Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel once again. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications of new and upcoming videos. Today I'm going to be talking about setting up a um, trawling outfit, in particular the knots that we use and how we set it up and how we go about doing it. Okay, so my favorite outfit for trawling, and I'm talking about Kuta Tuna Wahoo Dorado, would be the Saltist 50H reel. And again, braid as backing. I, when filling your multiplying reel, there's two ways of going about doing it. You can either use monofilament nylon from top to bottom, or you can use a four weave braid, 300 meters, and then top it up with nylon. Um, braid is a little bit more expensive um, as far as filling a reel goes, but in the long run, it actually works out cheaper. And the reason we say that is, once you've got your 300 meters of backing on, you never replace it. But the monofilament, you've got to keep on replacing, keep on replacing 600 meters at a time. Um, when you've got your 300 meters of four weave brave or braid on, all you're going to be topping up now is 300 meters of monofilament. So in the long run, you're going to get two toppings. It's going to last you longer and it works out cheaper. So how we go about doing it, I recommend you look at the J-Braid 4-Weave 50-pound. 4-Weave is a hell of a lot more cheaper than an 8-Weave Brave. It's more economical, guys. So definitely 4-Weave as a backing is ideal. Um, and then you can use your Kingfisher, your Giant Abrasion, your Triple Fish as top shot. It's up to you. Um, once you've filled the braid, then fill the monofilament, then we stick on a fluorocarbon. 50 pound to 70 pound FC fluorocarbon is what I recommend you look at, depending on the fish species you're trying to target. Okay, so let's go to my machine and I'll show you how we fill it and the knots that we use to fill it. Okay guys, so uh, yeah, at Kingfish we've got this lovely machine. If you are at home, just get somebody to help you your son, your wife, whoever, um, to attach it, all we're going to do is tie a figure of eight. And how we do that is just take our braid, go over one, two, three times, take the tag in back through, and open it up to form the figure of eight. There it is there. We then slide it down onto our reel. There's a little pin here. And there we go. It's attached. Just snip it off. If you do not have a little pin like this, don't worry. Tie your figure of eight around the actual spool. Pull it tight. Use some insulation tape. The insulation tape allows the braid to bite into the actual tape. And it actually holds tight on the actual spool. The last thing that you want is your braid at the bottom to turn on the spool. Very important that you put it on under a lot of tension. So get somebody to help you. Like I said, your father, your son, your mother, whoever you can get hold of to um, hold the actual braid tight. And how we do it here, we just get a stick of some sort, a piece of metal, and we put a tension on the actual spool like that. Okay, and then you wind normally. Yeah, I'm just going to use the machine to show you how it's done. Uh, I'm going to put on 270 meters of 50 pound uh, J braid four weave. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to put it under a lot of tension. So there we go. Just make sure the machine's turning the right way. And when you do it, don't forget to zigzag so that the braid doesn't cut into itself. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, now to attach <clears throat> the monofilament nylon to our braid, there's several different knots that you can do. You can do bimini twist, bimini twist, cat's paw. Um, you can do a grinner knot to grinner knot or figure of eight to figure of eight if you want. Not that strong. I'm going to show you how to do it the way I found works the best for me. You can also do a PR or an FG, which is a lot smaller, it'll go through your guides easier. I just find a quick and easy way to do it would be to tie a bimini twist with the actual braid and then do an all bright from the nylon to the braid. Okay, it's a quick, easy knot to do. So here we go. We just double it, we go around 21 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Bit of lubrication. You can stick it around the handle. You can stick it around anything that's. Um, let me just do that around the handle. Okay. So there's the real handle. I'm just going to attach it around there. And then what you do is you just open it by placing your finger in the actual groove part here. Okay, so if you can see, you're just going to stick your finger in here and you're just going to move it up. Okay, here we go. Take the tag in and you just roll it down and you go one half inch on the left hand side, one half inch on the right hand side, half inch that side, half inch on the other side. And we're just basically finishing it off here. Cut off the tag end. <clears throat> so all I've pretty much got is a bimini twist with a loop. Take your mono line. Like so. And what I do is take my fingers inside it, tack it around so I've put a loop in the actual braid. You then do the all bright where you take the mono through the loop, like so. So it pulls tight, just pinch the knot and the actual uh, monofilament. And you just wrap it around six times. One, two, three, four, five, six times. And go between the nylon and the braid. Okay, like so. Lubricate and pull tight. There we go. Cut off the tagging as close as you want. I just want to show you, there's the bimini twist, the double line, and the all bright over there. Okay. Take your monofilament nylon. This is our Kingfisher house brand. Stick it through. <coughs> Put a bit of tension on the actual spool. And all we do is you just Wind the line on. There we go. Keep your knot in the middle. And that is very important um, when it comes to multiplying reels and throwing off the beach, especially for casting purposes. Keep the knot in the middle, it stops the spool from vibrating. Doesn't really matter too much when you're using it as a trawling outfit, but yeah, for multipliers, very important you keep the knot in the middle. And we work our nylon over the knot, so there's not a big bump. And there we go. Nice and smoothly. With the monofilament, you don't need to put it on too tightly. But there we go.
And remember for ski boat fishing, we don't need to overfill the line at all. <coughs> so there we go, because you're not casting it. Okay, so there is our reel perfectly full for ski boat fishing. I'm now going to show you how to join the fluorocarbon leader to it. I'm now going to show you how to tie the fluorocarbon leader to the monofilament. And the reason we use a monofilament as our main line is it's cost efficient and it's got a little bit more stretch so it allows the fish to turn on the bait or the lure um, and then take up obviously the stretch and get him in the side of the mouth. Um, it also <clears throat> is less visible in water, the monofilament, and even less invisible in the water is our fluorocarbon. So what we do is we take our monofilament and we tie a bimini twist. You can use a grinner knot or a figure of eight and attach it, but it makes a big knot going through the eyes. It's not. 100% knot strength. The bimini twist is most probably the, the strongest knot that you can get for tying a monofilament to a leader. <clears throat> okay, so how we do it again is we basically double the nylon. I'm just gonna loosen off of my drag here quickly. And we do it 21 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 20, 21 times. So, so we've done it 21 times. Lubricate. And now find something that you can put it around. You can either do it around your legs, your knees, or whatever it is. I like to tie a very small uh, bimini twist. So I'm just going to use my machine over here. So I'm just going to move over there. Okay, so so all I'm going to do now is take this around the arm of my <coughs> vice that I've got. Pull it down till I get the length that I want it to be. So I don't want it to be bigger than that. Just pinch the, the tag end. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what I'm going to do is just stick my finger in there and open it up. Okay, so let's do it. And as I pull my finger towards me, I allow the tag end, this part, to go at about a 30 to 45 degree angle and it'll, it actually rolls over itself. Now I'm going to tie two <coughs> half hitches, one on the left, one on the right. So there we go, half hitch, pull tight, half hitch, pull tight. And then I'm going to do two half hitches around the actual double line, one, Two, and now if I want, I can tie a um, <clears throat> another three, one, two, three around it, and then just undo our risotto there. Pull from underneath to pull it tight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off that tag end. <coughs> Grab the scissors. So I've done the 21 loops. I've done two half hitches on either side of the arm. And I did my uh, risotto. I'm just going to cut off the tag end. And you can cut it off very closely. So there we go. There's the double line, as you can see. Okay, so I take my double line. I stick my finger through, like so, and then go over and under. So that's all I'm doing. I'll show you again. Over and under. So I've got a loop, double loop. I then take my FC100 fluorocarbon and go through the two loops and pull the mono until it gets tight. Okay. Just cross over again. 
Now what I'm going to do with the fluorocarbon is wrap it around five times, six times, it's up to you, depending on how big you want the knot to be. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, and then go between the monofilament and the double line. Okay. Pull it until it starts to become tight. A little bit of <clears throat> lubrication. And now in a smooth action, I'm just going to pull the knots tight. Here we go. One, two, three. There we go. Cut off the fluorocarbon tag end. Nice and closely. And there's the joining knot. We've got the bimini twist for a bit of giving it. We've got our fluorocarbon joined. And that's it there. We make it about twice the length of your rod. And uh, in this case, I must probably be using our cooter rod. There it is there. So, twice the length of our Poseidon cooter. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Take it, cut it off. And then just wind it onto our reel. And there's the leader and that all attached, ready to fish. I'm just going to stick it on my Poseidon cooter rod quickly and show you what it looks like. <clears throat> and there we go guys, there's our cooter rod ready for fishing for this year up and coming cooter season. So don't forget, all these products that you see are available from leading tackle stores nationwide as well as our Kingfisher shops. And if you need any help with knots and that, go into our stores and ask the salesman there. They will be able to show you how to tie the knots. Enjoy, guys.